shift that round just a touch. Hello, Seabass. No, I'm not talking about the villain from Dumb and Dumber. Kick his ass, Seabass. I'm talking about the fish, Seabass. There's some prawns there as well. And we're gonna cook them up and make them delicious. But first things first. I am parched, drifting, American pale ale, 4.2%. Ooh, steady on. Cheers, guys. Oh, yes. So what we're gonna make today? Well, as you can guess by the title, we're gonna make sea bass with brown butter. No, it's not butter with poo in it. It's actually just a really nice butter and it's so simple to make. All it is is essentially just browned up butter. You put it in a pan, you cook it on a medium heat until it goes a nice golden nutty color, brown butter. But we're not just gonna do that, we're gonna serve it with some nice sea bass, which we're gonna lightly dust in some flour, some nice grilled prawns, or shrimp if you live in the States, and we're gonna make some nice spicy broccoli, some saute potatoes, it's gonna be splendid. Splendid. Now before we charge into this recipe, remember to watch the video all the way through. Don't skip, don't you dare skip. I can see you. And of course, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And when you do, make sure to click the little bell icon, allow notifications. That way, when I upload a new video, you get told about it. And the first thing you need to do is prep your potatoes and your broccoli. Now what you need to do is get a pan of salted boiling water, plop your new potatoes in, and you're gonna wanna cook those for about eight to 10 minutes until they're cooked all the way through, but not mushy. Okay, you still want some nice texture there. And for about the last 40 to 50 seconds, add your tender stem broccoli, and you're just gonna park up the broccoli about halfway through. Not fully, because we're gonna finish that off in the griddle. And then you need to take the broccoli out and put it into a bowl of ice cold water. That stops the cooking process and keeps them nice and green. The potatoes just need to go to one side until they're cool enough to handle. And that's pretty much it, that's your prep done. But what I'm gonna do now is make the brown butter. You could do this like as the fish is cooking, but I'm so disorganized and trying to film and organize and do everything all at once, it's just gonna be chaos. So I'm gonna do it now so it's ready to go when we serve the fish. Let's go. Okay, brown butter then. So I've got a saucepan here. I'm gonna get that onto a medium heat. Don't want it too hot. If it's too hot, we're gonna burn the butter. And honestly, this is such an easy thing to make. All we're gonna do is add a couple of tablespoons of butter to this pan. Ah, we'll go for three, why not? So I'll use the rest tomorrow. And it's salted butter, make sure it's salted. Now what will happen, as the butter starts to melt, it'll start to change color. It'll start to go nice and frothy, and then it'll start to turn a nice golden nutty brown. That just happens with time, and it's not gonna take very long at all. Just a few minutes, but don't let it go too far. If you let it go too far, it's gonna be burnt butter, and it's gonna taste trash, and you're gonna throw it in the bin. Look how lovely and toasty that's got. Nice golden brown color. Nice sort of toasty, nutty color. Don't go beyond that, because it'll be knackered. You'll have burnt butter. And what you can do as well is chill this right down and then put it in the fridge, and then you can kind of use it when you want. But I'm gonna leave this on the back hob and I'll warm it through just at the last minute before we serve. So what do we do now? Well, onto the fish. Right, so we've got our sea bass here and our prawns. I'm only gonna use one sea bass today because obviously it's my dinner, I'm not gonna eat two. Well, I could, but that's a bit greedy, isn't it, Adam? A bit greedy. But what we're gonna do is lightly dust the sea bass fillet. So I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of plain flour to this bowl. So I'm gonna add lots of pepper, loads of pepper, and of course some salt. And also I'm gonna add the zest of about half a lemon, because why not? Why the flipping hell not? Give that a good old mix. Then what I'm gonna do is take a plate and take one of our sea bass fillets. And literally all I'm gonna do is dust this fillet in that seasoned flour. Make sure every nook and cranny is coated. Shake off the excess onto a plate. And that's the sea bass fillet ready to cook. La 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 Okay, right, so fish is ready to go. Now remember the new potatoes that we cooked up earlier? Well, we need to cut those in half. So, cut them in half. Easy as that. Because although this dish might look quite fancy at the end, it comes together super, super quick. So, that's potatoes ready to go. What next? What next? Broccoli. Okay, broccoli then. 
our parboiled broccoli. And literally, all I'm going to do is grate on some garlic. Now, for two people, you're obviously going to want to double this portion, but one clove of garlic will do two people fine. You don't want no stinky garlic breath. But I'm going to use about half a clove. That's going to be plenty for me. I'm also going to add some chilli flakes, just for a bit of heat. Get them on there. Bit of salt. A little bit of black pepper. And just a tablespoon or so of olive oil. Massage that in. There we go. And that can sit there and, well, really, we're kind of ready to cook everything. So let's go. So I'm going to use two pans. I've got my griddle pan here, which I'm going to use for the broccoli and also the prawns. And then I've got my other pan here, which I'm going to use for the sea bass and the sauteed potatoes. And it's all going to kind of cook at around the same time. So I'm going to add just a touch of olive oil to the pan that I'm going to do my potatoes and also my sea bass. And also a knob of butter. And if you don't know what a knob is, kind of like that much. Ish. It's all a bit ish. I'm going to get that pan onto a heat, sort of medium heat. So as the butter starts foaming, we're going to lay the potatoes in, cut side down. So I want to get that nice and golden brown. I'm also going to add the sea bass fillet skin side down. And again, this isn't going to take very long at all, a couple of minutes. The sea bass is going to take like a minute each side because it's nice and thin. The potatoes again, one to two minutes till they're nice and golden brown. And that bit's good to go. It's good to go. And in the meantime, in this griddle pan here, if you can just see it, we'll get the prawns on and the broccoli. So I've got my griddle pan on here. I'm going to get that nice and hot, nice and hot. You want to open all your windows, get your extractor fan on. Don't add any oil to it, for God's sake, or you'll end up with a fire brigade around your house and you'll be in a lot of trouble. Right, so that's getting nice and hot, so we're gonna add the prawns on. Then I've got the broccoli here, I'm just gonna move that around in the marinade, get it nicely coated. Add the broccoli on. And that's gonna take a couple of minutes, if that. Okay, you're gonna want about 30 seconds each side for the prawns, and about a minute for the broccoli. You just want a nice charred color on there, get it nicely cooked through. And folks, that's like pretty much it. Okay, then we can assemble it and eat. Ta-da! As if by magic, all the elements are now cooked. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is add the sauté potatoes, sort of in the middle. Then we're gonna go on with our broccoli, the nice sort of charred bits on it. Next, I'm gonna add our beautifully cooked sea bass fillet at a jaunty angle. Then on top of that, I'm gonna add our delicious grilled prawns. Then I'm gonna take this beautiful brown butter that we made earlier and I've just warmed it through and you don't want a lot of this it's very very rich and we're going to put just a bit on the top I'm going to moat a bit around the outside what I am going to do is add just a bit of this marinade for the broccoli I'm going to add some of that back to the broccoli what I am going to do though is I've got some chives here and also just a small pinch of parsley I'm just going to slice those up mix it up a bit just kind of give it a little bit of sprinkling, you know? And of course, we're gonna add some lemon juice just to cut through that richness of the butter. So on we go, just a squeeze of lemon juice. And there you have quite a simple, but elegant looking little dish, really. Let's eat this delicious thing. Let's eat this delicious thing. Just got to adjust you there so you can see my awesome face. Here we go. It's probably going to be cold by now, but let's go for a bit of prawn, a bit of sea bass. Let's go in. Even though it's stone cold, it's so good. And it's the brown butter that makes it. Because that sea bass is so delicate, the brown butter just kind of adds a nuttiness. It goes from being just melted butter to this gorgeous kind of nutty, hazelnutty, tasty, buttery, delicious thing. Let's try this broccoli. Garlicky, a little bit spicy. It's got that nice char as well from the griddle pan. Guys, make it, make it. And there we have it. Simple sea bass, a few prawns, some saute potatoes, nice little chili garlic broccoli, topped off with a simple, easy to do brown butter. And yes, it's stone cold, but that's the devotion I have to you guys. 
I'm willing to have cold food for my dinner for your for your satisfaction. What's up today? You want a snack? You're not having any of this fish though. I might let you have a prawn. If there's any left. Come and say hello to everyone. Yes. Say hello to the camera. Say hello. I'll let you down. I'll let you down. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Let me know in the comments what you think. And remember, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. And if you do, make sure to hit the little button. And if you do, and when you do, make sure to hit the little... Oh, God. Oh, I get like a stuck record sometimes. So I have to stop and just breathe. And just be like, just relax, Adam. It, it, you're just filming. Just chill out, wind down a bit start again so yes if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button and when you do make sure to click the little bell icon allow all notifications that way when i upload a new video you get notified but i shall love and leave you thanks again for watching and i'll see your gorgeous faces in the next video and bye for now oh mugs i tell you what we have outdone ourselves sous chef